Stick my dick in the mashed potatoes. Go hogs. Speaking of Arkansas traditions, we've never had like an official. We need the, the mashed potato backstory from your perspective. Because I remember the video came out. It was just not a clip in the video. And then it just kind of spiraled to what it is now. So I guess like from your perspective, from upload to now, like, I guess, how did that kind of snowball? Yeah. So that was what the second interview, I think. That I yeah. Ever- second one, it came out on my birthday, my 21st birthday. I remember because it was the first, it got a lot of traction on Twitter. Yes. And it didn't take off right away. So I remember my girlfriend was my videographer. It was my freshman year. Those are many people that wanted to drive to Little Rock because we're playing in Little Rock with me. And so the day before, and I just started working for Red Cup. I was maybe a month, two months in. It wasn't long. Um, and my girlfriend, Faith, I was like, hey, I need you to come with me. And she was like, okay, that's fine. Like two days before, she started getting sick. And like the day before, she was like, I can't go. I'm really sick. I'm like, screw you. I just started. I can't be messing this up um Mitch will be mad at me blah 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 and so I took her and it was super cold outside um it was probably 40 degrees and like drizzle and she was already super sick ended up she had mono so I think I think it made it a lot worse because she was very sick for like a month um but drug her out there and I was going around doing my interviews and I asked someone where are you gonna do if Arkansas wins today because at that point we were at a huge losing streak we sucked um so everyone just wanted one win and we ended up like losing by 30 that game um and so i interview this guy and in the background i hear a guy say i'm gonna stick my dick in the mashed potatoes so at that point i'm like okay i'm cutting off this part of the interview i walked over to him i'm like what'd you say and that's where the video came from and we posted it it did decent at first i know like my twitter following now is like twelve thousand more bigger than what it was yeah that was when you were just starting i mean you're a freshman so it's not when that video happened and um yeah it didn't take off for a while and then like just one day out of nowhere it took off and i was an idiot and didn't have our logo on it (laughs) but luckily luckily the mic had the logo on it and we picked up at least i picked up a really good following off of that and then that just kept going up and up exponentially over time but that video has so many views and so many people have seen it and it's been on Barstool, Old Row, Scott Van Pelt seen it. It's yeah. Everywhere. No, it's crazy. I mean, it's like, he's like the figurehead of Arkansas winning. Or like, he's an Oklahoma <laughs> fan too, though. Did you know that? No. I, I figured he wasn't. I know because I know he was visiting his buddy. Yeah, so we couldn't find the guy forever. And as you know, when we were in March Madness this year, he posted a video of him, finally. Guess who's back? Hogs in the Elite Eight. Start fucking stirring them taters. You know what I'm saying. Go Hogs. I see, like, in your replies, like, a lot of people has uh, their profile picture, their header, yeah, like, yeah. it's just, it's everywhere. It's so weird, like, how just a video like that can kind of blow up. But, and it's not like many people know that's me either in that video, because, like, some people do, but there's other people that'll recognize me, like, from Twitter or something, and then that video will get brought up, and I'm like, you know I'm the guy that's in that video, right? And they're like, yeah. No idea. I'm like, I'm the dude standing right beside the mashed potatoes. Yeah, it's just like a, it's like a three-second clip, like, it's so yeah. quick, but... Yeah. 